Hello friends, welcome back to Block Project in Laravel 10. Last video we will discuss how to make category dynamic like PHP tutorial, Laravel tutorial and JavaScript. This category is working like an admin side. Once you can make like a is admin is equal to one, so it's showing to means is menu is equal to one. You are set inside database, so you can see it. Okay. So in this video we can continue like a, suppose you can click on the PHP tutorial. So we need to show here title. Also we need to change these titles. And sometimes you can write here description. So your SEO is going to good. So like this we can do it inside a PHP tutorial. And I have one request. You are new in this channel, otherwise in this series. So please subscribe and please press the bell icon because error solution always gives the answer and you can start learning easily. So I hope you already done like a subscribe buttons and also you are press a bell icon. So always you get a notification and you can start immediately learning. And also I have one website like errorsolutioncode.com. Inside you want to buy any script. So just click on the script and after you can see it like a menu. You can go and you can buy. Okay. So let's start now how to make a this menu dynamic. So I already opened my database like a blog.com. Blog.com inside you can go so you can see it like a category. Okay. So you can see it category. So this is the slugs. This is the title. So we need to show here title, this title. Okay. Here is the meta title. So we can show here meta title here. And also you can see meta description. So we can show inside meta description. Meta keywords, we can show also meta keywords. Okay. Here you can see it menu 01 and data is also active inactive. So I can show you step by step how we can do it. Okay. So let's go back again and open the HTTP, open the app HTTP. After we need to open the controller inside, you can see it like a home controllers. Home controller inside you can go. So we have created like one function block details. So what do you want to follow pathwise? So just go to routes inside you to go web.php. Inside you can go last one. So you can see it like a slug. Inside you can see it like a block details. Just have click right click and go to definition. Otherwise, do you want to go app controller means HTTP controller inside home controller. It's a very simple, very easy. So please carefully watch what I am doing. Okay. So first of all, we need to create here like a one variable data meta titles T I T L E. Here I need to pass whatever I am getting inside get category. So get category. So let's go to database. So just you can go to database and you can check. So here you see meta titles. Just copy and paste here. Okay. Same thing copy paste copy paste. So right now is a meta title. Now we need to change for this one meta description. So I just copy and paste here. Because of I already get the data using this slug. Suppose you can see it here like a um, let's close this one. Suppose you can see it here is a PHP tutorial. So PHP tutorial where is the doing here doing slug wise. So slug wise we are getting the data. Suppose I go to category models apps inside models you can see it. So here category models you can see it here like a get slug you can see it. And this function wise we are getting the data. So now meta description, you can pass here meta description. Last one is remaining is a meta keywords. So just copy paste also. I copy and I've changed here. Okay. So this is the meaning about SEO. So what we can do now this data we need to pass in our side like a resources views is a layout inside a app.blade.php. Very carefully watch what I did. First, I will create a one variable like a data inside I have passed like meta title, meta description or meta keywords. Okay. After I am going to my main file, suppose I am going to blog.com, means blog.blade.php. So you can see layout.blade.php. So I just go to layouts inside app. You can see it. So I go inside so you can see it here title. So this is the meaning about like a meta titles. So what we can do, we can remove this one. We don't want to need now anymore. So just you can make like if means we need to make like not if condition is not empty. What not empty like a meta title. I just copy and I paste here and I can pass here meta titles otherwise it's blank. Okay. So let's go back and we can check is working not working. 
I just go back and refresh the page. So you can see it here showing the PHP tutorial. Suppose I go to Laravel, so you can see the Laravel tutorial. Suppose I go to JavaScript, so also you can see JavaScript tutorial. Because of here you can passing this data. Now we need to show. Suppose I go to Control U. So here you can see it like a meta keywords and also you can pass like a meta descriptions. So what we can do? We have already did here. Just we need to pass here content. So simple way. Again you need to make condition. If is not empty. Always make like this condition. Don't do like this directly. Otherwise generate the error in your structures. I can show you how to generate the error inside a meta keywords. Right now I am doing meta description. So you can see it is done. Okay, Same thing with meta keywords but let us make a content page so I can show you the errors. So meta keywords inset contents. Okay, It is done. Sorry I need to change here meta keywords not a meta description. So this is the also done. Let us save this files and just go. I go to PHP tutorial. So it is working very well no issue. Suppose I am going to home. So you can see it like undefined variable meta keywords. It is taking time because error generating this reason. So you can see it undefined variable meta keywords. Because of this routes we have not declared meta keywords. This reason we need a always condition. Like what is the condition need? If is not empty. Suppose I found this variable. Otherwise, this value there inside, so need to go inside, otherwise we don't want to go. This reason we always need to make a one condition like if is not empty meta keywords, same thing if is not empty meta keywords. Also I made condition but this is the shortcut condition. Okay. So this is the also done and here also done. Let's, let's go back again, refresh the page so you can see it here. So you can see it here not found the ohm because we have not declared this reason. Suppose I am going to PHP tutorial, so you can see it here. Suppose I am going to Laravel tutorial, so you can see it here. And JavaScript, you can see it here. Now we need to check meta keywords, meta description is working, not working. I just press Ctrl U, so you can see it here is a working, like JavaScript, JavaScript tutorial and JavaScript tutorial. You can see it here, is a, we have had a same. Suppose I can add like here, testing. And I just press Enter. And I press Control 5 because I need to refresh hard refresh. So you can see it keywords is working means description is working very well. Same thing you can do it here is a keywords. So also I can show here keywords. Okay. So this is the SEO related tools and also you can change here like a above menu. Suppose you can go to PHP tutorial and after you can press Control U, you are using Firefox so is working Control U. So you are using different browsers so is, is, you need to right click and you can just make like a view paste source code like this okay so here you can see it not showing meta keywords and meta description okay this is the shortcut methods and we can usually directly use now here is a done like a description laravel tutorial javascript but suppose you can go to like a PHP tutorial after you click on the, this read more so you click on read more but this title also i need to show here meta keywords is automatic words sorry description automatic words Suppose I am going to blog, so you are seeing meta description, meta keywords and also showing the titles. So these titles we need to put here, meta description, meta keywords already there. So it's, this is the also simple, just go to home controller, this is the category wise work and bottom one is a like work as a blog wise. So just copy and paste here, it's very simple and very easy okay, so please carefully watch. Blog model inside, suppose here is a data not found, so it's going to else part. Else part is a data found, so it's going to here. Okay, so here is a get category. Why we need? Because of we ever put here is a filtering. You can see it here. Recent post tag clouds, and also you can see it like a here is a similar product. Suppose you go to Laravel, Laravel 12, so you can see it similar products. Okay, so this is the works. Now we need to put like a dynamic. So let's go back again and we can change here like a get record, get record, get record. Here you can just change like a title. It's very simple, very easy because here is the block data we are getting. So meta title, meta description or meta keywords. Let's save these files and just refresh the page and you can go to read more. So you can see it whatever title here there so automatic showing here because of we have passed here titles 
meta keywords meta description also we have pass suppose i can go to any products uh, this products let's copy this slugs and i just put inside a url and i refresh and after i click on the control u so you can see it like meta description because of we have already passed here descriptions keywords you can pass like a welcome and press enter so you can do it admin side but i just go shortcut this reason i show here and i press control f5 or you can under press like control f5 so is a hard refresh suppose you are using the firefox suppose you are using the like a google chrome so you just need to go again refresh the page this page and you need to put like a view pair scores otherwise it is in shortcut key so you can use but i am not using google chrome because always need to debug code so always firefox is a good option for the debugging this reason i am always using firefox after everybody developer is a different different way works okay so this is the also done now we can go into home page so here not showing suppose i am going to login page so here also showing because it's a like a common page this reason so i'm going to register page so also is common this reason is showing so don't worry about that but laravel page material javascript so here is another page there about us you know i already comment out last time this reasons okay so now main position is suppose i am the home controller because this dynamic is done let's make it this is the like a home but this is the home we need to make dynamic using admin side but right now i just pass here i don't want to need like a meta description meta keywords right now just pass here and you can write your static words so look like professional like you can do like a blog in home so not see like blank here let's go back again save this files let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here like a blocks okay now we need to work is active class because meta keyword meta description how to make dynamic i already show you and also one thing is remaining i think active class we can do it next video but let's cover here dynamic also because suppose i am going to category so this is the also we need to show dynamic like a titles this title we need to show here okay so let's go back again and you can see like a block detail so simple you can pass here like date dollar data header titles t i t l e and here you can pass like a get category and here just you can pass like a titles t i t l e this title you can find out here you can see it here titles okay so what i did here just added titles i did and you can see it here now we need to go to block block blend block dot blend dot php you can see it so you can go so here you can see it like our blocks so just you can put here condition if is not empty empty other title so going to inside otherwise else part whatever there this one we can do it suppose variable also not found so also not go inside okay this reason we are always using is not empty and just you can put here other titles let's save these files and just go back and refresh the page so i just go back and i refresh the page now so you can see it like php tutorial so i go to lara tutorial so you can see lara tutorial so i go to javascript tutorial so showing the javascript tutorial whatever you did inside here like title inside is so automatic showing i know it is a spelling mistake but this is the main things so i click on the read more and i search like something and i just press enter so you can see it like our blog because of is going to same file but we can't found what i understand so i am going to same file same file means is a block here i found but i will not pass here like a other title so is basically he is using like default one but we can make this one also dynamic once we can add inside a admin side so don't worry about that okay the admin side we need to create a one page like a page inside you can make like home one you can make login register contact us about us i think blocks means this is the page and also term and condition privacy policy we need to provide all things so don't worry about that okay so this is the dance and i hope you have clear so in this video i have explained how to make like a seo tools dynamic and also how to create a dynamic title 
suppose one files by work so how we can do it next video we can short out like active class and also we can short out like like a admin side like page one so also you can do it like a dynamic about like home page so you can type whatever you can type here home and also we can do settings so you can upload the logos you can upload here also logo so we need to do everything our way suppose you can go to click on the login so login inside our logo need to show so we need to work as a professional okay so i hope you i hope you have clear in this video how to make meta editor meta description meta keywords dynamic using the admin side category wise how to work home page wise how to work otherwise you can go to blog detail page also how to works i hope you have clear and i again request you are new in this channel otherwise in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so you always get the notification you can start immediately new learning things okay and thank you for watching error solutions